where a journalist was shot dead by a gang leader. In that, that he wanted to send a warning to all the journalists outside there, that they keep on investigating them, that they keep on reporting the news about the gangs. So that is the reason why the gang did that, which is something that is not good. Something that the government should act according to the law and rescue and justice, justice, justice for the journalist that lost his life. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the love. God bless you. God bless you. And on our today's story, we want to talk about Haiti. There is something that is very sad that has happened in Haiti. Exactly Port-au-Prince that happened yesterday at night. Something that, it is something that is very, very sad. Where a gang leader suddenly killed two journalists, more so the DW journalists in Haiti at Solino District South, something that is very, very sad. We as the journalists usually go through a lot. It is not easy to sit down, to go on the ground, bring for the audience news, bring for the people that are in Haiti news, and seeing that your fellow journalist just losing his or her life in the line of duty, just going beyond to bring news. It's something that is very sad, very, very sad, losing journalists on the ground. Very, very sad. It's something that's not supposed to be done to anyone. It is something that's not supposed to be done to just even, even to anyone. Very, very sad to hear an innocent journalist trying to cover a certain story in Haiti, losing his life or her life. Something that is very, very sad from the gang. Gang just killing innocent journalists, just doing nothing, losing his life. Let's take a one minute silence of the journalists, two journalists that lost their life yesterday in Haiti. Most of the DW journalists who lost his life in the line of duty. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And God continue to bless you. Blessing you for whatever that you guys are doing to us. Kindly, kindly guys. If you like to support us, our number is down there. If you like to support us with anything that you have, our number is down there. And the God will really bless you. Whatever that the gang have done to just innocent journalists is not good. It's not good. And even God is not happy. It's not happy. I know so many of the journalists usually report fake news, which is not good. Even the journalists, this is just goes with all the journalists that are outside there. Try to report something that is real. Try to report something that has happened. Don't report propaganda. Propaganda will never help in the society. I know very well that negative news goes fast, but try to have a positive news that creates impact in the society. If something has happened, just report whatever that has happened. Like this story of Haiti is something that is very crucial, something that people are following at the latter. The time that you report something that is not correct, it will really traumatize people. It will really affect people that are in Haiti. No, no, something that is very, very sad. So this is all to the journalists outside there. Try to be positive. Try to report something that is correct and legit. Something that is good. That's what I can advise you. Seeing the gang are now becoming so, so serious, now attacking journalists. What is happening in Haiti? Where is the government of Haiti? I think this is where the government need to protect the journalists. The freedom. Journalists have the freedom to do anything. They have the freedom of speech. They have the freedom of communication. They have the freedom of spreading positive news. You cannot limit the right of journalists. 
journalists have got certain race. Now seeing a gang leader just killing innocent journalists for just nothing. This guy was trying just to cover news, seeing that the guy just lost his life while covering news, trying to educate the society, trying to give information to the society on whatever that is happening. So, so sad. So, so, so sad. This gang, they are now too serious. Yesterday, they killed two women. And there is a woman who had got an eight, eight months old child. Very, very sad. Government of Haiti intervene. Intervene because this gang are now very serious. They are now too much. This is what we call too much. They are too much. Something should be done. Something should be done and should be done in a supersonic speed. That's what I can say. I have nothing much to say, but it's just to inform you this painful news on how the gang leader killed two journalists in Haiti, Solino area, around Port-au-Prince, 14 kilometers away from Port-au-Prince. Seeing innocent journalists, seeing innocent people losing their life from this gang, something that needs to be done. Something that the gang, the NMS forces, the Jamaican force, the Kenya police should come up with a solution very fast to avoid such things from happening, to curb these things from happening. Yes, that's what I would like to inform you. It was just a breaking news on whatever that happened today in Haiti, where a journalist was shot dead by a gang leader in that that he wanted to send a warning to all the journalists outside there that they keep on investigating them that they keep on reporting the news about the gangs so that is the reason why the gang did that which is something that is not good something that the government should act according to the law and rescue and justice 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 for the journalist that lost his life justice and let justice be served. Let the gang leader that did that should be arrested and put behind bars. I know so very well that Haiti has got like 200 gangs. But you, my friend, whoever did that, your days are numbered. But you are not going to walk this scot-free. There is something that is going to be done to you. Whatever that you did, your days are numbered. Don't forget this. Don't forget this. We as journalists, we are not happy to hear that story that has happened in Haiti. We are not happy. We are really very sad. We are very, very, very sad. It is not easy to come up with the news. It is not easy to go to the ground and collect news just to inform the public. There are so many people that depend on us for news. There are so many people that depend on us to get information on whatever that is happening. Seeing them losing life, this also happened in, uh, in Israel, where a journalist was killed by a gang. Hmm? Something should be done. He was killed by a Taliban. Something should be done. The government should act fast. We are going to follow up this story until, until the journalist that was killed gets justice gets justice and viewers over there dear kenyans dear every person let's pray for it let's always pray for it they need our prayers let's be together let's walk together in this fight let's 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 pray for it in everything that you do remember to pray for it until next time we always say game over